Kyle, Aaron Boone just mentioned having some butterflies in the dugout. What were you feeling in that ninth inning? <laughs> uh, probably that times 10. Uh, probably eighth and ninth inning, I was having a mini panic attack every time I went out there. So that was I was extremely nervous, but that was incredible. The ball that, that Wade fielded there, the second out of the ninth inning, were you nervous on that ball? Yeah, uh, initially I thought it was pretty well placed and I kind of like, uh, you know, was got a little sad for a second, but then he just like zoomed over there and didn't even have to dive for it. So that was great. And you gave him a, a, an embrace at the a hug at the end of the game, congratulating him, I'm sure, for, for the no hitter. What did you say to him there? Did he say anything to you in that moment? To uh, Corey? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I can't even remember, honestly. It was, it's just like, I mean, I, I, I feel like, you know, it, it was almost like what you would imagine the feeling after like winning the World Series. Like it was a crazy euphoric feeling and just, uh, I mean, it lifted me off the ground pretty hard. So he was, I could tell he was pumped. Thank you. you can go next to Brian Hope. Hey, Kyle, uh, what did Corey have working best tonight? What really made this possible? Uh, wh which pitch? With him, it's really everything. Um, two seam, cutter, curveball. Curveball is really good tonight. I mean, definitely that's probably the best I've seen it. So, but I mean, he had the change up going too and, and just, you know, mixing and being unpredictable and really executing really well. So that was, it was great. When you see that he's got everything going like that, how does it change your game plan? Like, do, you know, did anything change from what you went in in the first inning? Not really. I think the game plan kind of hinges on assuming that he's going to have his stuff, and then if he doesn't, then obviously it'll evolve from there. But, um, you know, the game plan we set out to, to have at the beginning of like every, every game with him is, you know, basically assuming that he's going to have his best stuff. Um, so... You know, we, we just kept kept rolling with it and, and reading swings and all that stuff. And it was obviously turned out to be a really special night. Thanks, Kyle. We can go next to Marley Rivera. Hi, Kyle. How does one stay calm through a no-hitter? Uh, I'm probably the wrong person to ask because I was not calm at all. Uh, I was doing a little hyperventilating on the bench between the, the eighth and ninth inning. So luckily, Corey didn't notice. We can go next to Josh Schwartz. Hey, Kyle. Like, those of us who are watching at home, you know, we, we have the K zone kind of on there, so we could see that he's hitting, like, basically the line on every one of his pitches. Behind the plate, I mean, how cognizant are you of that, that, like, not only is he getting the calls and everything, like, and the pitches look good, but really that he's hitting that exact spot? Uh, I, was, I was well aware. Um, I know... You know, it, tonight was one of those nights where it seemed like he was just dotting me up every single time he threw the ball. And it was, you know, if he missed, it was like in a good spot where he wasn't going to get hurt. So it was, he definitely had, you know, his A-plus stuff tonight.